So today, I'm going to be showing you all how to do the product landing page project in free code camp. I'm going to be going over all of the tests that you need to complete in order to complete the project. As well as show you guys the HTML and CSS that was used to make the project look exactly like the code pen template given. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, let's get started. So, free code camp website right now. And I'm going to scroll down and copy and paste this right here. Copy. And I'm going to paste in the script tab. Save. And then it should give us this right here. Product landing page. And run test. And here we go. Now we just follow the user stories. Now, so my product landing page should have a header element with a corresponding ID. Header to so eat this. Header. header run test that's good now i can see an image within the header element with a corresponding id header all right so image right here i'm typing company logo id is header engine that would run that would work then within the header element, I see a nav element with corresponding ID. Well, nav, right, well, nav. I'm going to test. If I go to 60 pass, I can see at least three clickable elements inside the nav element, each with the class nav. So that means um, in here, anchor tag. Alright, let me show you the website that we're recreating. Alright, here it is. This watch we're recreating right now. So that's what they want us to do. So I'm going to make three anchor tags. It's uh, at least three clickable, so that should work. At least three clickable elements now. The class now. So. Pricing. Pricing. Copy image address. Put in the source right here. And then that should work. That works. Six out of sixteen pass six. Right now, I can watch an embedded product video with ID video. Yes, so that would be here. Now I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna skip that for now. My landing page has a form element with a corresponding ID form. All right, so this is this one. A form ID equal form. See that just runs. There we go. That works. Within the form. There is an input field with ID email where I can enter an email address. Which means input type email email ID email. That should work. Email to 16 class. ID email I can enter an email address. Then the email input field should have placeholder text. Yes. Run. Look now to 16. Within the form, there's an submit input to corresponding ID submit. So like this. Input submit. That's uh, gets. Come here. Get started. Run this. Now to six. Oh, ID submit. There we go. Alright, when I click the submit element, the email is submitted to a static page. So we copy this link right here. Copy. Afterwards, action, where the form is in action, is in. That should work. Hopefully. 12. 
enough bars should always be at the top of the viewport. Yeah, that's checked. My product landing page should have at least one media query. My product landing page should utilize CSX, CSS flex marks at least once. And yeah, so we're basically done. So now what we're going to do is um, we're just going to add in some extra elements like the nav links and yeah, yeah. I think what I'm going to do actually is that I'm just going to input all of these elements basically. So I'm going to like lay out all of these elements. Then when we come back, I'm going to style all of them. So this is what I have so far. I'm going to be showing you guys the video. So I'm going to insert. Afterwards, I'm going to copy the link. To this copy link address, <coughs> which is in source right here. There you go. It also has the ID of video, and I'm going to set the width and the height. There we go. We come like this and test go to 16. Alright, I'm gonna continue building the rest of it. right here and of the video so yeah let's get started with this thing right here so for the nouns now we need them to when we click on them they should go to wherever right here we have features right here it's the id id features if we come like this hashtag features and you see when you click it goes to there now what about how it works that will be video that will be the video click here it works pricing go to id pricing if you click on it it goes right here if you go right here in the test 13 out of 16 task. Now we have these three, so the number should always be at the top of the view. To solve that, you can simply do this. So, with the header element, it's going to CSS, header, position, sticky, top, view. There. Always stick. And the test. 14. On the page, you have at least one media query. Alright, we'll leave it that later. And it says the product landing page usually CSX flex box at least once, which should actually be useful um, right here and right here. So, anyway, let's, um, I guess let's style it. So, I'm going to start with the header and we need to, um, what width it is. I'm going to set the list I'm going to go over to the header now I'm going to use flexbox so display flex there we go it's not mean to if we come here and run the test there we go so now all we need is that we need at least one here. so body Background color, same thing for the header. There we go, works. And afterwards, I need space between the original trombones and bits. I'm going to make all the anchor tags um, of text decoration.
Let's go up to here, form. ID form right now. There it is. Looks like it is for this. Clicks. And the uh, clicks. Sorry. Here we go. So that's huge. Sorry, I'm going to put on the list. Let's see. Let's see. Line. Right here. Features display clicks. I'm going to um change the title. There we go. Go for the trombone. A video margin. Alright, I think I've fixed it. Alright, see? Very good, it works. Center. All I need was put a div. Oh, it says title. It's right here. This is where we're going to be using Flexbox. So we're going to pricing. Display. Oops, here we go. It's me. Works. Alright, so that's done right here. Now oh, it's privacy and the footer. Alright, that's it right here. So now what we need to do is uh wait before we leave let's do the media code. That's media and set on max list of eight hundred pixel pricing display fix fix That should be it for all of the tests. So if you run test, 15. Alright, so I'll need it. One second. Alright, so let's run the test, and there we go. Finish everything. Now we can submit it, and, and it would work, but we're not going to do that. Until we finish it, I'm going to style it. What I'll do is I'll style it, and then I'll come back. Not only that before I style let's test out the box. So if we come like this should that the right one? Well that's not the wrong one. Well um, here we go, now it works. Eight hundred here. Anything more than eight hundred? Goes back to this, so that works. Alright, now let's do the CSS.
finished. It is so if you're running test again, everything passed. Right here. The only thing though is the account find below. Alright, there you go. No order. But anyway. Alright, so since we're finished, now all you need to do is so if you use in a different environment, save the work. So go down to you can build your project by using this open template. Let's go to that. All we're going to do is go to copy everything in here. Copy. Yes. Everything in the CSS. Everything in CSS. Copy. Paste. There we go. All you need to do is copy the link. Copy. Paste in. Paste in right there. And click that. <sighs> and that is it for this project. So hopefully it was helpful and see you next video. Peace out.